Wasn't that wonderful yeah. too last night seeing on that stage those four women, very different um, causes that they've mm. pushed um, and to see Grace Tame who was named Australian of the Year, um, a 26 year old um, sexual abuse survivor, use that platform last night and as we saw on the front pages of all the paper this morning mm. to push for a change of the date. Of Australia Day and that's sort of she has said that that's what she's going to use her platform for using her voice in that way and I mean and it's one of those debates that we have every year isn't it it makes Australia Day quite strange mm. I would it say. is I mean you guys know that it's a difficult day for me mm. I think it's weird that we have these big celebrations on this day in particular I'm not saying you know that we can't have a national day but you know, that day in particular, there was so much brutality at that particular time. You know, men, women and children were were hunted mercilessly, you know, unspeakable things done to uh, innocent babies and that we choose that to hold up as our national day, a day when Aboriginal people can't celebrate that. That's, to me, this is a, a day of, of mourning. It's a day of, of sadness. And if you have a national day that not everyone in the nation can celebrate, then what sort of message does that send to Aboriginal mm. people and Aboriginal communities? And, you know, we heard from Grace before that every story matters, every part of our history matters, everyone's um, perspective matters. But what does this actually say to Aboriginal people to say, we want you to celebrate these things that have been done to your people when there are so many other wonderful days that we, or wonderful moments in our history that we could hold up and say, this is what we are proud of as a nation. The 1967 referendum, the most successful referendum we've ever held to acknowledge the place of Aboriginal people in Australia. Um, Carl's birthday, you know? Oh, I'd sooner celebrate it on, on that day. I don't know, the date of federation. I don't know, I think any of those. It's it's. Mm. It's so complicated. It's such a sad day. It marks such a brutal mm. part of our history. And we, we acknowledge that, um, that it is mm. for you, um, and, and we can in no way, shape or form know, truly. Mm. Um, but listening then, um, you know, it's, it's to try and take a walk in your shoes, the, the starting of that listening process, mm. Mm. I think it's really important to be able to hear, to try and hear you. Um, is, is, is an important, important start. Yeah. yeah, is this truth telling about our history where we're not accepting blame? We're not saying it's your mm. fault that this happened and you must pay. Mm. You know, I want you to say sorry for mm. what your ancestors did, but there needs to be an acknowledgement of the really awful and difficult parts mm. of our history, mm. um, so that we can heal as a nation mm. and, and move forward. Yeah, yeah. Right. thank you, Brooke, and Great well to said. To yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm no, I think important for you to say and to share yeah. that. Absolutely. Thank Terrific. you, guys. Yeah.